Hey there everyone, I'm Paul Kifana White and I have a bird following me. Stupid bird. <laughs> Last time we went into the Balakroft Mausoleum and we of course find out that oh it's the seal of wind just like we thought. Easy, yeah. <laughs> and we got here to the end after we had a very very easy puzzle. You know, puzzles like these are very, very easy when you know what to do. I know, shocking, isn't it? <laughs> and today we are gonna un oh, stop that! I should have killed this guy seriously. <laughs> today we are gonna go and take on the boss of the or the guardian of the seal, and we also are also gonna unlock the seal. I know we are gonna do so much in this video. It's so much fun. <laughs> but anyway, I will say though, I really like this place, how it looks, and just the feel of the place. You know. Looks very, very nice. Ah, we f we're finally at the altar. I'm sick of dungeons. Really, Lloyd? You have no patience. Indeed, really. I mean, this is what, like the fifth dungeon or so? Believe me, Lloyd. If you're tired now, you will go you're will you gonna be so sick at the end of this game. Wait, I sense incredible mana. Again, of course. And of course, it's boss time against Lepix. Huh, well, that was easy. <laughs> but anyway, though, this guy is pretty much Windmaster 1.5. He is very, very similar. Except, well, he doesn't have a butt blade, as you can clearly see. He got feathers instead, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he can actually do a lot of the same things as the Windmaster does. He can cast a very powerful air thrust, he can combo attack you down to little to no HP, and he will spam a move that he really, really likes. As you see, he resists wind and lightning. So, uh, lightning tiger blade really isn't that helpful against them, so I'm just going for cross thrust, because it is pretty good. I mean, the damage isn't that massive, but it works. <laughs> now, Lapix himself, as I said, he is pretty much the Wing Guardian all, or the uh, the Windmaster all over again. He hurts like hell. His Feather Shot attack, which he loves to spam, yeah, just like that. It is so painful. And he will also be casting Air Thrust on you, which, as you see, he cut down Colette's HP there like it was nothing. Oh dear God! Oh, that was so close. Can you please help me? Yeah, this is pretty much what I meant when I said the, that the Windmaster, if he just continue to spam on you. That's, this is pretty much what he does, pretty much what Lapix does here, he does in that fight. He will constantly be casting air thrust on you and hitting you with the butt blade. Just like Lapix is doing now. Air thrust, feather shot, and the, uh, the low sweep kick. It is so annoying. <laughs> and unfortunately, he doesn't have any weakness either. Why can't he be just like the other enemies in this dungeon? I don't know. Oh, okay, I'm a noble limit now. Let's do this. <laughs> As you see though, he is pretty much almost completely out of MP, so he can't cast that much uh, thrust anymore. Thank God. And that overlimit really helped too, that I actually got to do it. Actually a lot of damage to him there. Ah, stupid fe I don't like feather shot, by the way. Oh, he can also do a double feather shot, just to be even more trolley. Isn't that just fantastic? <laughs> uh, I will still say though, I do consider the, uh, the Windmaster harder, just because... Well, actually I don't really know. The Windmaster killed me a lot more than this guy ever did. Even though they have both have air thrust and all, I just feel that the butt blade is a lot more painful than, than feather shot and his kick attacks. But it just might might just be me, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, thankfully this battle has gone decently so far. 
Colette and Kratos have both been helping very nicely to help staggering the boss. And Reyna has been keeping us alive. That's really all that we need. <laughs> there we go. And by defeating him, we get another, pr or we get a paralysis charm, I should say, since we haven't bought one yet. I'm still gonna do that though, but I think we have no I actually have enough money now. I don't really know. And we also get a spirit bangle. Very, very nice. That battle only took two minutes too. Not too bad. <laughs> oh, well, let's unlock this seal already. Chosen of regeneration. Yeah, it's not voice this time either. Ugh. You have done well in reaching this far. Now, offer your prayers at the altar. Yes. Oh, Goddess Martel, great protector and nurturer of the earth, grant me thy strength. By the way, I really like that little touch that the uh, the fog surrounding the tower is gone now since, well, the being of wind is dead and some spirit is about to awake. I really like that the fog has been blown away. Very, very nice touch. This is the third seal. You have done well reaching this far, Chosen One, Colette. Thank you. Receive this blessing, the gift of angelic power from Crucius. Yes, Father, thank you. The next seal lies far northwest, in a place that gazes upon the center of the world. Offer your prayers at the altar in that distant land. I don't really know why I still do this cryptic, cryptic thing since you already very, very well know where the next seal is, so there's really no point in me doing this. I shall do as you say, Lord Ramil. I'll be waiting for you at the next seal, Colette, my daughter. The end of your journey is close. Hurry and become a true angel. Do not disappoint me. What an asshole! <laughs> Seriously, Remiel can be a little bit too serious at times, in my taste. Yeah. <laughs> a true angel. What is it? Ah, uh, nothing. I was just thinking, when I become a true angel, it'll be amazing. I wonder how many more seals there are. That we don't know. Well, we kinda do. It's not a surprise, really. At any rate, we all... At any rate, all we can do is keep going. Yeah, I guess you're right, Kratos. Once again. <laughs> and when we unlock the third seal, Colette will learn Holy Song. Her second angel art. Now, if you skip the photogeyser and you just went straight here, Colette would not learn it. You need to unlock three seals to be able to get Holy Song. Now, Holy Song is an interesting move. As you see, it is even more expensive. Awesome. But it's also pretty damn good, though. Increases defense and offense of the entire party for, for a little time. It is very, very helpful. If it wasn't for the very, very high TP costs, I would use Holy Song all the time. But... Uh, it's good, but... Colette goes... It, Colette is empty after like... Two seconds, when, if she uses it a lot, so... I don't think it's that worth it, but... Uh, 
It's a, it's a good move, don't get me wrong. But anyway, as you saw in the last video though, a certain someone actually got in here. And when you go down here, you will be stopped. So make sure you are as close to maxed out of both HP and MP. Or, uh, sorry, <laughs> I've been playing Final Fantasy. TP, as you can. Because, well, surprise, surprise. You will be fighting a certain someone. And by the way, Genus, can you maybe cast... He doesn't have that yet, so yeah, spread should be fine. And Rain, you still don't have anything. Are you about to learn something? Yes, she is. Oh, thank God she's about to learn Photon. Oh, that's going to be very helpful. But anyway, I am getting a little bit ahead of myself. Go down here and try to get to the save point. Go, go, go. No. <laughs> Stop. That's very douchey, though. Voice. Oh no. I like the reaction. <laughs> but this day has finally come. This Asian ruin shall be your graveyard. Oh, you're here too. <laughs> Stay back. Don't move. Don't touch anything. Now that we finally become friends, why do we have to fight? I really like her reaction though, that Claude gets a little closer she no don't touch anything I might die this time <laughs> since are we <coughs> I have no intentions of befriending you prepare yourselves uh, get ready and of course we have the awesome theme everybody's counting on me oh yeah we also have to fight her again <laughs> Only this time she is the resolute assassin and she got a new guardian the Guardian of Lightning. Though this fight is pretty much the same as the previous one, they have a little bit more tricks up their sleeve this time. And I just used Lightning on the... Well, that was kind of dumb of me. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, this... Oh, that still did good damage, though. This fight is pretty much the same as last time, except the Assassin... I'm just gonna call her Sheena. We already know her name. Sheena got a new move, and the Guardian got a little bit more HP. That is all. Oh, and she will also focus a little bit more on your healers. Or your mages this time. Ooh, awesome range. She finally learned a attacking move. And it's even lighter on my So that's gonna be incredibly helpful. And it's gonna make a certain bony guy cry a lot of bony tears. You know? Okay, good. I was gonna say, if you don't stop her, we might die here, Kratos. Yeah, just like that. Wow! <laughs> 1 HP! <laughs> okay, I think my heart stopped a little bit there, but thankfully she she's not that resolute, apparently. And that was way too close. Thank you, Kratos. Are you okay? Yep. Just stay away when she uses her combo, and you are fine, really. Combo her, block her moves, and you are fine. But, I want you to take note on her weapon, because last time she had some white cards equipped. Now they're blue. It's not something important, but just remember it for later, okay? And there we go. Easy peasy, even though Rain was a little bit too close for comfort, but yeah, we did good. No one died. <laughs> By defeating her, we get a dark bottle, some fine pellets this time. Hmm, there's more types of pellets, huh? Oh boy. And a magic lens. Thanks. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? Why? Why can't I win? Goodness and love will always win. <laughs> Genius, please, don't bring up that stupid Warren Wow. Goodness? What do you mean, goodness? If you're good, then I'm good as well. Oh, not you too. Everyone, stop saying corny things. <laughs> you know, Lloyd, you can also say some of the Dwarven Vows at your end, or your victory poses, and the all the Dwarven Vows are incredibly corny. <laughs> what, do you, what do you know? When you regenerate the world, my country will be destroyed. I won't let that happen, I swear. Uh, wait. 
What are you talking about? I mean, if I regenerate the world, everyone will be saved, right? Yeah, that's what we heard so far, so... Why will your country be destroyed? Oh, this world... This world will be saved. Uh, what do you mean about this? What do you mean with this world? Stop! Who are you? So, you're not alone? This world? What did you mean? Uh, that girl, is she... Hmm? Do you know her? Uh, no, let's get out of here. Well, that's definitely something. And once again, I have a feeling that there's something Kratos isn't telling us, but... Eh, we should be used to that by now. <laughs> but anyway, when we go out here, of course, we will have the typical Colette 6 scene. Colette! Which is voiced. It's the angel Toxicosis again. Let's hurry and let her rest. Are you okay? That's probably the first time that Colette actually started to fall, but actually did not hit the ground. <laughs> nice one, Lloyd. I'm sorry to trouble everybody again. Don't worry about that, but... There we go. Ow. And she takes more people with her this time, too. What are you doing, Lloyd? Are you okay, Colette? I don't care about you. Are you okay, Colette? What's wrong? Did it hurt? Did you hurt yourself? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I just blinked out for a moment. Colette, let me see your hand. Huh? Why? Just show me. You're hurt. It must have happened when you fell. Look how much you're bleeding. But it doesn't hurt. What? Uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt that much. Colette, can I talk to you for a sec? So, are you guys ready for one of the most famous scenes in the game? In which Lloyd actually does something very smart. I will definitely be quiet for this one. What is it, Lloyd? I thought it'd be nice for us to talk just by ourselves. Sure. Here, it's hot coffee. Thanks. Hot, isn't it? Yeah, really hot. It's actually iced coffee. What? I had Ooh. Genus make it cold. Oh, uh, yeah, of course it's cold. Ooh. I lied. It's actually hot. Ooh. I knew it. How long have you been like this? You can't feel anything at all, can you? That's not true. You're lying. When you fell earlier, you already couldn't feel anything, could you? Uh, well, but... Uh... You were bleeding like crazy, but you didn't even flinch when I squeezed your hand. I guess the secret's out. You haven't been eating lately, either. I eat? <laughs> Barely. You even started eating things you don't like. And that's not all. Have you been sleeping? Of course. <laughs> See, my eyes aren't red or anything. Stop lying to me. You always do that fake giggle when you lie. Th that's not true. Is it that hard for you to trust me? No, it's not like that. I just... I just didn't want anyone to worry. What's happening to you? I don't know. I don't know, but 
things first got strange when I released the fire seal. I suddenly didn't want to eat anything anymore. Even when I did, I didn't have any taste. No taste? I can't hold anything down when I force myself. So I haven't been eating. I never get hungry. That's... that's... Then when I release the next seal, I stop getting sleepy. I close my eyes, but I just can't sleep. I haven't slept at all since then. Then with this seal, I stopped feeling anything. Why? Why didn't you say anything? Well, I figured this is just what it means to become an angel. So I shouldn't let it get to me. This is what it means to become an angel? Not eating anymore? Not sleeping anymore? Not feeling anything anymore? But my eyes have actually gotten better. I can see really far away now. And my hearing too. I can hear even the faintest sounds really well. I can hear them so well that it's kind of painful sometimes. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was going on at all. I'm sorry. Please don't tell the others. Why? Well, I mean, we're all on this trip together, and I want it to be fun. So, I don't want you to worry about it either, okay? <sighs> You're so stupid. I'm sorry, Lloyd. Even though you're crying for me, and I'm happy, so happy I want to cry, but I can't anymore. I'm sorry. So apparently becoming an angel isn't that as easy as we first thought. Not only do we have to go on a very, very long journey to actually release all the seals, but Colette pretty much also loses part of what makes her human, her humanity. It's for the best of the world, we all know that, but at times when I play this game I really start to think is it really worth it? And... I also started to think, how strong must Colette actually be to actually go through with all this? And a couple of playthroughs ago I thought, yeah, Colette is incredibly strong. I actually like her a lot more now than I did before. On my first X amount of playthroughs, I hated Colette. She was just there as a plot point for me. But really the more that I saw these scenes, the more that I thought about it... Yeah, I started to like Colette more and more. I'm not gonna say that she's one of my favorite characters, because this game got some amazing characters that we get later on. And of course, Lloyd and Kratos are awesome too, but... Yeah, Colette. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> but anyway, I think this is a good time to end this off. So next time, well, who knows? We should we we already know where the next seal is, but is it really that easy? Can we just go straight to the next seal? Well, maybe, maybe the people of Lewin knows anything. So next time we are going back to Lewin to see if maybe someone knows anything about the Tower of Mana, how to get in and everything. So, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.